Hello, and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. Discord server, maybe group, Facebook group, Twittering, Instagram. Yeah, I know, I got work on that one. And YouTube. You can check out the Tavern's YouTube channel at youtube.com backward slash Eric Tenkar. It's Eric with a K. E R I K T E N K A R. Subscribe. So, and we also have a uh, a newsletter, a weekly newsletter. Subscribe to that. And we have, like, I think 89 subscribers. Only kicked it off last week. But uh, we hit 100. I'm going to give away some uh, drive through RPG gift certificate money. Uh, same thing with the YouTube channel where we hit certain numbers. Going to give away some money. It's your money anyway, right? I mean, this money comes from affiliate sales, whether it's from drive through or Humble Bundle, and hey, I, I like giving it back to the community. So, what am I going to talk about today? Well, today is my second trip through watching The Expanse. If you haven't watched The Expanse yet, it, uh, I guess it's, it's like a hard sci-fi uh, in that it isn't fantastical, at least yet. Uh, because we're watching, uh, we're in the middle of the second season. For me, it's a rewatch. I watched all four seasons that are up, but it's the first time through for Rage. And I'll be honest with you, there's stuff that, you know, I, I watched some of this stuff years ago. There's twists and turns that I don't remember and recall certain scenes. I do, but others I don't. But what I found very interesting was when I watched the first season, I remember saying to myself, Wow, this is almost like watching in, like a traveler campaign take place, right? Because you have everybody who's filling um, a niche, right? Everybody's filling this this kind of uh, needed role that the party needs. You need the uh, the strong man, right? You you. you you need the charismatic leader who's full of angst and, you know, doesn't want to kill anybody, but then he has to a lot of times, right? You have the the pilot who's from Mars, but the rest of them are Earth-aligned. Interesting stuff there, right? The engineer. And it's the... And I don't want to do any spoilers here, right? But they have a, a law enforcement officer, uh, a cop that gets introduced. And I'm watching this. And I'm saying, you know, if I had to introduce somebody into an ongoing campaign, that's an awesome way to do it. You know, you, you kind of force them together, but in a natural way. And, of course, I find out that The Expanse, which has its own RPG out right now, by the way, uh, I, I own it. I probably should read it, right? But it make sense. I backed the Kickstarter. But it was based upon uh, a play-by-post RPG campaign that the author ran. And I was like, hmm, okay. And then going back and watching the, the, ser- the series in my head, I can see that. And I since I, I watched all four seasons, again, without giving spoilers, um, there is a huge change in focus, which is oftentimes what you would do in an RPG campaign. It's like, all right, well, enough of this. Now let's put you in the midst of this, right? But at the same time, I think, now remember, today's Halloween. I'm recording this on October 31st, 2020, Saturday night. Um, and do we have some trick or treaters? Sure. Do we have a lot? No. I put out a wooden crate with Halloween candy sign on it and put the candy on the soup. And I saw some kids, because I have the ring, if I can watch the video, I saw some kids getting candy, but we have a lot left. We have a lot left. But it's Halloween, right? And you're saying, okay, what are you talking about The Expanse? Well, The Expanse is a little bit of a sci-fi horror show at the same time. Right? It's got this Almost, I don't want to say Cthulhu-esque, but uh, it certainly has something that 
if you wanted to make it the elder gods or the dark ones, there is certainly an aspect to the, the seasons there where that would work. Right? Not quite how you had the shadow in Babylon 5, which again uh, has this whole dark aspect to it in addition to everything else that was going on. But this certainly does. And I find it very interesting and very fulfilling. And I'm enjoying my second trip through it. And I think I really want to uh, break out the game now. I think the game is more based upon the books. So the, so the books got their start from the RPG campaign that was run by the author on the forums. And then the series was inspired by in the books. And I think if we've all watched anything on TV or in the movies, like Lord of the Rings, right? Lord of the Rings, the trilogy follow the books fairly well. Uh, the Hobbit did not. I mean, sure, it hit the high points, right? But it it filled in a lot of weirdish. I, I don't remember this love story going on in The Hobbit when I re read it. And I find that, that to be interesting, right? But there's this need to transform something. What works in the mind's eye doesn't always work as a visual. And what works as a visual doesn't always work in the mind's eye. I think we've learned that when it comes to RPGs. I mean, I personally think if you're going to run something that's a horror-based RPG or has dark aspects to it, yeah, I, I, I don't know how well, in the long run, uh, something like D&D &D does for horror because of the leveling aspect. Systems like Call of Cthulhu, which work off basic role playing, that that power curve is much smaller. So the threats are, you know, what, what's the threat at first level, or not, not even first level because I don't have levels, but to a novice character, it's probably still a threat to an experienced character. I mean, it's the same threat, but it's there. And I think th threat is a huge part of horror. You need a valid threat. You need to have a valid. Uh, well, it isn't an adversary, but something that the, the players and their characters will have an issue defeating, and failure to do so could mean the end of their village, the end of their kingdom, the end of their world, whatever. Right? It has to have real huge consequences, and not just heroic consequences. I don't know. I'm just yabbering. Happens sometimes even to the best of us. But if you haven't watched The Expanse yet, it's on Amazon Prime. There's four seasons up. It's some of the best science fiction uh, I've seen in, in a damn long time. Okay? And, I, and it has a, a traveler-esque feel to it in my mind's eye. I could definitely see playing some of this out with Classic Traveler. Wouldn't be that wouldn't be that hard. All right, folks. Again, we're in the midst of uh, the world of COVID, so take precautions. Use your common sense. We are also Tuesday. Was it one, two, three days away? Right, election day here in the states. Vote. I don't give a fuck who you vote for. I don't talk politics. Right. We have that agreement. So I don't care who you vote for. But if you don't vote, you have no right to bitch. I hate the people who go, oh, so-and-so, right? did you vote? Well, no, because, you know, in my state, my vote doesn't really count. Dude, fucking vote. Get your ass out there and vote. New York State still has uh, early voting. You can vote until, I think, 3 o'clock tomorrow. And then, of course, you can vote on Tuesday. So not you can't vote twice. I'm saying you have these opportunities to vote. So do so. Um, on that note, be safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice, and I will talk with you all tomorrow. Later, folks. <laughs>